Okay. Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City. Like, okay. For starters, I am a massive Resident Evil fan. Big big fan. Big fan. So much so that, obviously, the games, I, I, I adored them. We'll get into the, the, the fundamentals of the games a little bit later on, but... Um, I even How long is this review if you're going it's not it's fun, not going to be long I promise fundamentals of the I've, video I game promise I promise um, <laughs> but I'm even a fan of the really really bad Paul W. S. Anderson films I actually think that they're decent most of them you mean licorice pizza t- Paul W. F. Am- Am- Anderson N- n- no that's Paul Thomas Anderson ah, it's his brother yeah it's his brother it's his brother <laughs> yeah um, but yeah, the Paul W. S. Anderson films are always um, commented on on how they're the worst video game adaptations, and to a push, that's correct because they share nothing to do with the actual video games. It's not true. It's very yeah. There you're are right. Zombies yeah, zombies in them. Very true. Yes, I but I'm I my that's about it. That's about it, and the fact that there's an outbreak caused by Umbrella, but. I would say that those films are now showing how good they are due to how bad this film is. So you mean it's not good? This is a terrible film. It's so boring. What? It is so boring. Um, at least the W.S. W. S. Anderson films were like trying to be something different. They were trying to be like B-movie commentaries on surveillance and what it means to be a video game film. This is nothing. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. The di- It's written and directed by Johannes uh, Roberts, who has a has a filmography that is, qu- well, quite bad. We'll, we'll say that. However, I, I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt because the films that I have seen of his... As a horror director, I think that he has framing and shot composition and an idea of how to work the camera the same way that John Carpenter, in a sense, does. There's very, like, not long takes, but takes in which the suspense can be put through there. He just doesn't know how to include the suspense. That's the problem with him. Ah. His screenplays are always not good. Well, he did Strangers 2, Pray at Night, and um, the 47 Meters Down uh, films. But with this, throughout the whole marketing, he was saying how he was a massive fan of the franchise. And he was going to do justice to these stories. And in a sense, it does seem like he is a fan of the games. However he is a fan making a film this is not a competent film I am fully under the impression that if you have not played the first two Resident Evil games this film makes no sense whatsoever and for a a brief idea of what I mean there's a character in this film which I've talked to you about many times even before this film was even a thing but one of my favourite characters in the first Resident Evil game, the remake if we're being technical is Lisa Trevor and Lisa Trevor is this villainous presence that is the most, probably the bleakest and most upsetting character in all of Resident Evil. She appears in this film. I know the backstory of Lisa Trevor. I know what she's went through. I know what she's doing. This film just throws her in and doesn't explain her. Doesn't explain her whatsoever. So while I, know in the background, understand what's happening... I can guarantee for people that don't know anything, she makes no sense whatsoever. And for that, that that happens with nine times out of ten most of the characters in this film. It just makes no sense whatsoever. It's not scary at all. Like, there's not one single jump scare, even. Maybe to a big, strong boy like you, but to a little baby like me, I'd make it scary. <laughs> I think you would have hated this film. But yeah, I probably would have. I hate a lot. I th- I hate things a lot easier than you do. Yeah, but there, I will. In in terms of positives, the cast I think is actually on par. I think everyone does a decent job with what they're given, and I think that they're they are really good character, but like portrayals of these famous characters. I liked them. Um, the the set design and 
every, all the little Easter eggs and references while they are very in your face. It's good. There is attention to detail, and I, I appreciated that fact because this isn't a high-budget film. They could have easily just made it, but no, there is care put into the sets, and I'm surprised with that. And there's one scene, one scene out of this entire one-hour, 40-minute film which is actually really good. Really? And, I, and I'm, being genu- I'm being very genuine. Genuine in your wording of really good. Yes, it's really good. Hmm. It's uh, Chris Redfield, one of the main protagonists. Of course. Does he punch boulders? Unfortunately, no, but I have heard after the fact that he was going to include a scene where he punched uh, like he a boulder. better have punched a boulder. But um, there's a scene in which he's at the Spencer Mansion and... He is Spencer Mansion. Spencer Mansion. Spencer Mansion. Spencer Thank Manchin. you. And he is shooting through this horde of zombies, uh, and the only light source that actually goes throughout the scene is the gunfire from his gun, and then the uh, lighter that he has. And not only is that a callback to the like remake of the game, but it's actually a really solidly well made and well directed sequence that's the only part that Mm. and there's one frame and I'm not even joking there is one frame one shot which is brilliant and it's not a joke not anything like that it's just genuinely really really impressive and all and those tiny little things makes me think there could have been a lot here Mm. it's just super boring and there's one unforgivable needle drop joke and that's the next song that we're going to play it is a needle drop a needle drop joke in a Resident Evil movie. How could they? And you know what? No what? Not e- not even lying. It might actually it it's so bonkers that it might work. I don't know if it completely derails the entirety of the film or if it's the best scene in the film. That's it, it doesn't make sense and I don't know how I feel about it. And I, and this is like days after seeing the film. <coughs> but in short, <coughs> do not go see this film. <coughs> do not watch the film. Even if you're a Resident Evil fan, I do not think you would have enjoyment do with it. Do not watch Resident Evil. Because, hell, I'm one of the biggest fans I uh, know Ryan's of. Ryan's the biggest. Ryan bought um, the games. I did. And <laughs> I found it boring. Just completely and utterly boring. Boring. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's Resident Evil. Don't go see it. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. After, after, <clears throat> mm, third time's term. After this song, which is crushed by Jennifer Page, which is the needle drop. That is the needle drop joke. Okay, it's uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's so, it, it, I can't even, I can't even word. Can't even, can't even say the words. Yeah. During that song, I des- I described the scene, the that scene Ryan where was that plays, shouting on about to me. Um, interesting weird weird I want to see it now <laughs> just that Not one wor- just yeah that just that one, one scene. scene like I said it could be perfect it might be the worst thing it might be the best thing I can't tell so that's the beauty of it